so early in my career, I mean, still on training. Uh, second day with my training officer, did a routine traffic stop and uh, been asked by my training officer just to pull over just so we could debrief on what I had done right and wrong. I was in the driver's seat. A vehicle pulled up next to us, but I started to turn to, to look. The brightest muzzle flash I've ever seen stuns me. The first round actually went across the top of my head and grazed my head. A subsequent round went right up the kind of middle of my back and hit into my vest and thankfully rifled off the, the center portion of my vest. So I got out of the car and returned fire on the vehicle, took cover behind my car, my open car door. It was at that point with the ambient lighting I could see into the windshield and I saw that Tim was dead. I will never know what it's like to just be an officer. I got thrown into things so quickly. I felt like the wrong person got saved that night sometimes. And it took a lot to kind of overcome and realize that it was really out of my control. In the procession for Tim on the way to his memorial, I remember people along the route waving and crying. And I remember these two little Boy Scouts saluting us. And I said, you know what, I made the right choice by staying. And I knew at that moment. I couldn't imagine not doing this. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I'm Britt Sweeney, I'm save number 1704, and I am living proof 